matters you are special to the Church of Christ. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for the good we do. We are going to say, let it go, my Father, in the name of Jesus, so that your power will come down and reign upon them. Father, we bless you and we worship you, Jehovah God. We pray that God, you are going to strengthen us as mamas, my God. And you are going to keep us strong, my Jehovah. You are going to enter into our hearts, my Father. And you are making us to know you and to need, to, to know you and to seek you more, my Father, in our lives as mamas, my Jehovah God. You are making us to be committed unto you, Jehovah. You are making us to walk in your presence all the day long, my Father. For you are our God, my Redeemer. And in you we trust the everlasting God. So we thank you and we bless you, my Father. In Jesus' name I do pray to you. Amen. Chaka ambacho kuna moto lakini akichomeki. 
na kupitia hapo Mungu anamsawishi na anaanza kutembea na yeye Bwana asifiwe najua kwa njia moja au nyingine tumesawishika kumtembea na Mungu tumesawishika lakini kazi ya Mungu haishi na mwito wakati ambapo anakuita na kutenga it doesn't stop there but we are supposed to do what to continue seeking the face of God present ourselves to him so that he may transform us to his own glory lazima tuendelee kutafuta uso wa Bwana tuendelee kukaa mikononi pake ili atubadilishe utumishi uko kwa viwango na ukiwa na utumike kwa kiwango cha juu sitaki kusema about a bishop because i can be bishop kwa kawaida lakini ukitaka kutumika kwa kiwango cha juu hata ukiwa a lay person lazima ukue mtu ambaye utakaa miguuni panani kwa Kristo God is a respecter of no person Mungu anapotuangalia hivi haangalii cheo haangalii maumbile haangalii kisomo lakini je uhusiano wako na Mungu ni wa uko vipi unaweza kuwa mtu ambaye utaingia class 1 but God can use you in a mighty way Bwana asifiwe God can use you in a mighty way muradi ujifunze ukawa miguuni kwa nani kwa Yesu na hicho ndicho kitu ambacho ningependa sisi wa mama tudhamini zaidi. Tudhamini zaidi. You know, unaweza kuwa hauna kisomo lakini people have noticed something unique in your ministry and in your day to work, day work with Christ. Wanaweza kuwa wameona hivi. So sio vizuri kujidunisha. Come out, seek the face of God and God will use you in his own way. Atakutumikia kwa njia yake ya kipekee. So hilo ni jambo ambalo nataka tukitoka hapa tujue kwamba Mungu anaweza kukutumikia. Na hasa tukifika in Exodus 33 from verse 12 tunaona mazungumzo kati ya Musa na Mungu. Kuna mazungumzo fulani ambayo yanaendelea na katika mazungumzo hayo Musa is arguing it out with God ya kwamba wewe unasema ya kwamba unatupenda una umeniita na kwa hivyo nini naonyesha kweli kwamba wewe unatupenda umetuita unaenda kutupigania na Mungu anamwambia wewe wangu utaenda na namna gani utaenda na wewe bwana asijue let us just read that part Moses said chapter 33 verse 12 Moses said to the Lord you have been telling me leave these people but you have not let me know whom you will send with me Umekuwa ukiniambia niwaongoze hawa watu lakini unjaniambia nitaenda na nani You know Musa kawaida yake amekuwa mtu kwa bidii sababu You know at first bila kujali kwa mboka kwenda kutoa watoto wa Israeli kutoka wapi kutoka Misri Mungu alimwambia ndugu yangu ndio huyo. Na najua hapa kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanauliza sasa mimi tu nile niko hivi. Mimi nitafanya nini nile niko hivi. So sasa zingine Mungu anaweza kuambia Mungu wewe wewe fulani ya kwamba atakusaidia atakusaidia. Kama kuna kunaweza kuwa na chema ni mwenye amekuwa in the in the position. Anakuambia usijali I'm here. I walk with you utatembea na wewe utakusaidia. Na unajua ni kitu moja kutembea na mtu na kitu kingine kutembea na Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. So in the ministry of Moses we can see that Moses has been growing because at first Mungu alimwambia alimpoint konaya kwa ndugu yake. Lakini hapa anasema nitafanya nini? Nitakuwa na wewe na wewe. See let us desire to grow so that we we reach a level that other than depending Last Sunday we were in Nairobi hapa nikisema you know as human beings we are not independent we are dependent and so you see at the beginning Moses depended on Aaron 
and Gila Nayemia Kukua is now God is telling him ya kwamba nitakuwa na nani nitakuwa na wewe bwana asifiwe so si ni vizuri tutamani that in our ministry we be accompanied by by God who afanye nini atembee nasi kwa sababu atatembea nasi tutakuwa zaidi ya wa ya washindi may i continue reading this you have said i know you by name and you have found favor with me if you are pleased with me teach me your ways so i may know you and continue to find favor with you uh, you remember that this is your people the lord replied my presence will go with you and i'll give you rest my presence will go with you and i'll give you rest then moses said to him if your presence does not go with us do not send us up from here how will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else would distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Then Moses, then Moses said, Now show me your glory. And the Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you and will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, you cannot see my face for no one may see me and live. Then the Lord said, there is a place near me where you may stand on a rock when my glory passes by, I'll put you in a cliff, cleft in the rock, and cover you with my hand and, until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand, and you will see my back, but my face must not be seen. That's the argument. Ambayo Musa, Akonawa na Mungu, na Mungu anayelea kutia moyo for sure, but there is something from verse 34 that comes out. You know, after Mungu kuongea na Musa katika hali hiyo, Musa anachukua nafasi ya kuwa mbele za nani? Mbele za Mungu. Anachukua anatafuta nafasi. Na siku ya tarehe 2 tutakuwa tutakuwa tunaanza kitu ambacho tunaitwa leg. Mfungu wa siku you know that is a good time for us to set aside little kusema kwamba anakupenda hiyo inaonyesha kwamba ni mwisho wa in fact sasa hapo nitakana utafute uso wake zaidi bwana asifiwe Ndiyo takana kutakute uso wa mungu zaidi kwa kufunga na kuomba na kuomba. Na kuhi Musa alikuwa mbele ya mungu kwa mudagani. 40 days and 40 nights. Kwa na zikuwe. 40 days and 40 nights. It's because of that that made kuhi Musa kifungu wa batu tumesoma ya kuamba uso wake unai. He himself Haoni ya kwamba amebadilika. Bwana asifiwe. Ni haoni ya kwamba amebadilika kwa sababu amekuwa mbele ya watu ya Mungu, lakini there are people who are noticing that huyu mtu sio wa kawaida. You know. Bwana asifiwe. Sasa shuta na sema mimi nataka ushirika Yesu. Ewe no. Mimi nataka ushirika na wewe. So, wakati ambao tunakuwa na ushirika na Mungu, anabadilisha maisha Anabadisha yenendo yetu. Anabadisha jia zetu. Anatumua. Na unawana, Musa amelukua na kushirika na mungu. Na inafanya watu wanawana utofauti. Na wano sisi, kama watumishi wa mungu, kama watoto wa mungu, lazima tutafute kuwa na huo ushirika kwa sababu vita mbazo tunapigana siyo vya mwili, ni vya kiroo. Vya kiroo. Kitu cha pili, it is the supreme privilege and joy of the religious life. It is the inspiring.
inspiration and strength, strength of all great service. You want to be inspired. Then you attack a issue. You want to be inspired. You want to get to be strengthened. Then you are strengthened. There are times you may feel inadequate. You know, have to Lakini unapokuwa in fellowship with Christ unapata nguvu unabadilisho yale ambayo yanaonekana kuwa magumu yanakuwa nini yanakuwa rais so we must seek fellowship with God through the one propitiatory sacrifice of Jesus Christ tunatafuta ushirika na Mungu kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo kwa sababu anaona Yohana Mbatizaji anapomuona anasema tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu achukua dhambi za ulimwengu Bwana asifiwe. Bwana kondoo nani? Kwa Mungu atubwae dhambi za ulimwengu. Kwa hiyo yeye ni njia tunapotafuta ushirika na Mungu kupitia kwa kwa dhambi ambayo ameitoa tunakuwa tunaiuliwa na tunabarikiwa. Bwana asifiwe. Kitu kingine na tunajaribu kukimbia. Not only is the sacrifice of Christ Christ the medium through which the forgiving love of God becomes possible. It is the supreme expression of it. Yani ile dhabihu ambayo yanani ya Yesu. And then kitu kingine our chief reason for desiring to know God must be that we may glorify him in serving others. We may glorify him. Kwa hiyo tunataka kumjua Mungu. Kwa hiyo tunataka kukutana na huyo mtume kwa sababu hiyo tunataka kubadilisha. The main reason is that to be of service to the church of Christ kukua baraka kwa ni why do you want to become rich kwa ni nataka kuwa tajiri kwa ni nataka kuwa tajiri kwa ni nataka kuwa tajiri eh bibi anasema itamfaidi nini mtu kuupata ulimwengu wao oh. na mwisho wa ende jana yeah. you know this is the president era president ali jeleza Najua tutaweza kuanzia gani? Alituambia ya kwamba uhuru Ruto amekuwa akienda makanisani na akienda kwa kanisa anatoa pesa zingine anasema hizi zimetoka kwa president. Na akasema mimi siwahi kumtuma. Mimi siwahi kumtuma. You know. It's like ma- mama si mama sasa zingine anaweza kumpatia 1000 shillings. Bas jamkwatia kanisa. Alafu anasema wote nitolee kwa mtoto wangu fungu la 10 twende tu 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 hadi shilingi. You know. You know what the president was doing when he was just telling us that I'm not a good king man. That's what he was telling us. What does it do? What does it end up? Lakini je ninasema itamfaidi mtu nini kupata ulimwengu wao? Na mwisho wa hapa potezi nini? So for example God blesses you. You know Mungu anakubariki uwe wa baraka. Wa baraka. And that's where as a church lazima tuombe Mungu atusaidie zaidi because we want to grow the kingdom of God. And you know Mungu akianza kuona sababu yani kwa nini unatafuta kama unatafuta utajiri so that usaidie mayatima. You know utajiri utakuja. It will just come. You know it will come kwa sababu Mungu anaona anaangalia the reason ambayo unataka kupata nini utajiri unajua mtu mwingine anaweza kupata gari na hiyo gari ikuwe ikuwe kufanyia usharati bora sio so deciding to know god deciding to know god what is so as if to know god must be that we may glorify him in serving others Vile Musa anakaa mbele pale kwa Mungu kwa what base for Christ. Sina matika. Na kana matika anakaa huko. Si anashuka. Watu wanaona utukufu wa Mungu. Wanaona utukufu wa Mungu na wanafanya nini? Wanabarikiwa. Akiwa na kwamba Mungu is like zina zinapungua anarudi. Bwana asifiwe. And that is the church and the very much crowd. Kusikia kwamba you know ma, ma, mother zile ni wako na na rali na bila kuona rahi miujiza imefanyika mambo makuu yamefanyika mada zingine ah uh, maybe unyore achidiko na 
wameamua kuna mtoto mwenye hawezi kusoma na mama kadhaa wamesikiza wamesikiza wameshikana mikono wanapeleka shule shule bwana asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe amen and that's what we are called for another thing is that no man can be eminent either in holiness or service who does not often ascend to the mountain Hawezi kukua katika hutuma kama upandi mlima. Sisemi ya kwamba utoke hapo uende upande lakini unaweza kupata mlima hata kwa nyumba yako. Bwana asifiwe. Unaweza kupata mlima hata kwa nyumba yako. Unaweza kusema kwamba hata nitatafutereshia mzee wangu lakini mimi sitaoje. Because mimi nataka ushirika na Yesu. Ewe mungu mimi nataka ushirika na Yesu. So, ukitaka kukua unapanda nini? Unamuka mapema kuomba. I wish ya kwamba ile masimu ni watu napigiana saa 9 ikuwe ya kweli kwamba mtu anaweza kupigia simu na kuamke. Usiposi sema usemo atunadalia kwa blanketi. Hawezi kuomba kwa blanketi. Hawezi kuomba kwa blanketi na kuombe. Eh, hata sacrifice yenyewe ya kuacha blanketi haipo. Blanketi unatupa kando, unaamka, unaenda sitini mbele. Hata kama uko na mahali kwa bedroom yako wewe unaenda kwenye mahali pale kwenye mahali pale kwenye mahali pale ama kama uko na mahali kwa bedroom yako unapiga magoti unaanza kulia Bwana asifiwe unaanza kulia eh unaanza kulia sema huyu Mungu huyu asikofa kwa kati mbili hata sikuizi atusikia yake neno ameshindwa si Mungu mkumbuke unikumbuke Bwana asifiwe mkumbuke Mungu hii kabisa sikuizi hata sioni kwa hiyo naenda si Mungu utukumbuke Eh, ukienda huko ni vita. Pale wanatupa maneno, na watu nao wanatupa maneno ni kumi ni ni. Ni kumi na zaka pole pole. Eh? Bwana asifiwe. Kumi na zaka tu kwa maneno. Kwa maneno. So, no one can be any either in holiness or service who does not often ascend to the mountain, the mountain top that he may be unknown with God and be born his glory. Eh? Be born his glory. Wana utukufu wake. Kwa sababu na wana utukufu wake, wana utukufu wake, kwa utukufu na kubadilisha, na unakuwa choko ambacho ni jadamani kwa utukishu. Kwa hivyo mungu, atubaliki sana, tunako kapa moja, wate ni jikazi yote palize yu samone hapo. Tutaka kujikaza, kwa sababu na joba mungu ni pele, Munga kubariki za hivyo. Otherwise, kuna wapenda sa you are so special. You are so special. Mothers Union, the mothers, you are special for the Church of Christ. Tumeshikilia kazi ya kuwama na wacha tundele kuhishikilia. We pray that Mungu ainuwe kanisa lake, ainuwe familia zetu, na apanuwe mimate. Tuwa mini tuwame. Baba katika jena la Yesu Christo, kuna kushukuru kwa hivyo neno ambalo ni neno lako na kuomba iwe la baraka na msaada kwetu sisi hasa katika mkutano huu na tunapojiandaa kuanza kipindi cha mfungo wacha baba tukatamani kupanda mlima kukutana na wewe kuacha mambo mengine yote na kukutumikia kwa dhati tubariki tunapoendelea na siku hii na ukutana mahitaji yetu kwa njia kipekee kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu tunatakaribisha na hapa kwa njia yetu ya mwaka huu tukijadiliana yale ambayo tuliweza Mungu alitusaidia kukatenda mwaka uliopita na kuweka mikakati Mungu akitusaidia yale ambayo tutatenda mwaka huu Nae sana by thanking you most sincerely kwa kazi yenu nzuri mnayofanya katika parishe zenu you have given me your best umejitoa vilivyo ninashukuru sana Mungu kama ametupa nafasi wacha tumfanyie kazi kwa vyovyote vile kwa mali zetu na vyote ambavyo Mungu ametupatia wacha tujitolee Waefeso 6:8 inasema Waefeso 6:8 Remember that the Lord will reward 
each one of us for the good we do. Mungu atatubariki kwa vile vyote vile tunavyofanya. And there is nothing that we ever do in life which goes unnoticed by God. Hakuna jambo lolote tunalofanya katika nyumba ya Bwana ambalo Mungu hautambui. So let us press on. Let us not give up. Let us be a blessing and we shall see the rewards. Who is the so and so will be the one in this place. And if fulani fulani yangekuwa katika kiti ambacho nimekishikilia. Kama Mungu angetaka yule akue angemuweka. Lakini alitaka wewe. So remove all the fears in you. You are equal to the task. Mungu aliyekuchagua alijua unaweza. Na kama unanenewa pahali yeye mwenyewe anajua jinsi ya kujaza pepo lile. Kwa hivyo ondoa kuondoa uoga wote ulio ndani wako na wacha tufanye kazi ya Mungu. Yesu alisema katika Johana akamwambia disciples wake Johana 4:34 My food is to do the will of God who sent me. Yaani mtoto wangu au chakula changu ni kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu aliyenituma. Na wacha hilo liwe kumbi letu ya kwamba tufanye kazi ya Mungu yule ambaye alituweka mahali ambapo tuko. Tutembee katika njia zinazofaa. Tuwe watu ambao watakuwa mifereji ya baraka kwa wengine. Let our lives, my prayer always is our life should be like souls and lights that we may be a source of light, that we may be a source of hope, that we may be a blessing to those who are around us wacha tupande mambo mazuri kwa watu plan good things in the lives of others even if you don't receive anything in return whatever you are good at do it to your best for the glory of God touch as many lives as you can kuza maisha kwa wingi as uh, as many lives as possible through whatever you do pale ambapo kuna giza Mungu atuwezeshe tulete mwanga pale ambapo watu wamepoteza matumaini Mungu atusaidie tuweke hapo tumaini pale ambapo kuna huzuni Mungu atusaidie tuweke pale furaha Pahali ambapo kuna chuki Mungu atusaidie tuweze kupanda upendo mahala pale. Pahali ambapo kuna ugomvi Mungu atusaidie Mungu atusaidie tuweke pale msamaha. And by the grace of God I know we can do all this through Christ who gives us strength. Mungu awabariki sana mema yake naomba ikawafuate mazuri yake ikawafuate and may he do good and may his face shine on you Mungu awabariki sana